Within the facility, we touch on all the aspects of hockey, whether it's shooting, um, explosive skating, I've touched on all. Stick handling is a big part of the game of hockey. At the end of the day, you know, stick handling is probably not the most fun thing to work on, but it's it's the one thing that you really need to be good at. If you're not good at stick handling, you know, you know, chances are you're really not going to get to that next level. Nobody likes to stick handle. It's too much work. It's boring. So at Eclipse Sports, we have the coast to coast zone. We have the the hands of lightning. The coast to coast unit has two different pods. Uh, one down at one end. One at the other end. Puck sits and down in the bottom of the pod. Once you pull, hit the reset button, score clock goes zero. Pull the puck out of the pod, you do your course, you stuff it into the other pod, stops the clock, and then that'll tell you your score. You can put a number of, a variety of obstacles in front of you. We have a piece of equipment called Sweet Hands where we go back and forth as quick as you can to get to the other end. You can use pylons, you can use a number of different things, tripods, whatever. But the bottom line is at the end of the day, the kids want to see some results when they're doing their coast, when they're using their hands. They want to have a little bit of fun while they're training. It still has to be fun. And the coast to coast really has an element of fun. Pretty quick. Some nice hands there. Stay with it, that a boy. Good. The coast to coast can really work a little bit more on um, moving with the puck and stick handling with the puck and going through fine details, motor skills of your stick handling ability. And it gives you, you know, timed results of how you've done. So you can get, again, it gets into a healthy competition. The kids absolutely love it because you go there, one kid did, you know, did a certain time with no mistakes and hit nine seconds. And then someone else comes, that kid wants to beat him. But again, we want them to do it with the proper technique. So we teach proper techniques. When that is all done and they've established something of like that, then the coast to coast timing really comes into play where they can really refine their skills, get pushed to the next level and try to compete with their, with their co-players in a healthy environment. So it's a great competition and the kids love it. Very versatile, different drills, different courses that you can come up with and uh, it's been a great station for us and uh, it's been a great workout for the, for the, for the player.